Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about sharpening. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, I do not like the way Lightroom sharpens. I know there's different ways to do it. I know you can sharpen in the actual like panel and you can sharpen on export. I don't like it. I've never liked the way that my photos turn out once I've export from Lightroom. I also always put my photos through Photoshop anyways, just because that's how I finish and kind of polish off my photos. So I sharpen in Photoshop. I always have, I always will. I do get a lot of compliments about how sharp my photos look even on social media and really the only thing I do differently is sharpen them in Photoshop. I don't resize them. I used to resize them, but the way Photoshop or the way Facebook and Instagram are now, there it really isn't a reason to resize them. Like Facebook's going to do what they want with them whether you resize it or not. There's not a magic number for that anymore, I don't think. There used to be, but I really don't think there is anymore because I haven't been resizing and my photos still look pretty awesome. So, that's what we're going to do today. If you are not fluent in Photoshop, no worries. I am going to walk you through it very slowly to where you don't really have to know a whole lot about Photoshop if you do just want to use it for this step to kind of see the difference and see if maybe it's something that you like a little bit more too. I also have the steps that I'm going to show you, I have created as an action. So I will show you how to save it as an action also. Okay, so I have the photo pulled up that I want to sharpen and it's completely edited. Um, this photo is completely edited. I've done everything that I want to do to it in Photoshop. I'm ready to save it and sharpen it. So the first thing we're going to do is flatten the image. So we are going to go up here to layer and all the way down to the bottom and we're going to flatten the image. So that's done. You can see now that we have everything compiled. It's a complete photo. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a duplicate copy of this background layer. And you can do that by grabbing the layer and pulling it down and dropping it onto the plus sign. Just like that. And it becomes a background copy. So with that background copy, we are going to go up to filter, other, and we are going to do high pass. We're going to turn that into a high pass layer. And this is going to have it automatically set for me. The radius um, is going to be 5.0 pixels. You can play with this if you like your photos a little sharper or a little less sharp. You can always play with this step to see. Um, I've not gotten enough sharpening on certain photos so I've kicked it up a notch. You do have to be careful though because if you go too much you'll get kind of that like weird crunchy look which if you don't know what that means just do it and you'll see what I mean like where everything's like too sharp but this is what you're going to just start. I say start with five. That's that's pretty right down the middle it's going to sharpen without getting crazy. We will hit OK and now you're left with this image you're like i what did we do i don't know so now this layer is a high pass layer you can see in your photo you can see these tiny details in this high pass layer and that's pretty much what it's going to sharpen like that's a good telltale sign of what so we have her hair we have this dress and all the details of the ground what's going to be sharpened is kind of what's showing up here which is neat Okay, so next step, after we've done the high pass layer, we're going to go over here. These are your blend modes where it says normal right now. See, set the blending mode for the layer. So we're going to make sure our background copy, that high pass layer, is highlighted. And we're going to go down to overlay. And you're going to hit, okay, so now that background copy has a blend mode of overlay. And it has now sharpened your photo. I know it sounds you're like oh, did it do anything it did so you can click this little eyeball right here and you can turn it off and turn it on let me zoom in and I'll show you see it was kind of a there's a lot of movement in this photo so it wasn't like the sharpest to begin with but see you can see especially like in her hair so there we go. And if for some reason, um, which I've come to it every once in a while, I'll run into it if it looks too sharp. So that's 
kind of a basic that um, high pass layer being on five is kind of just a basic sharpening but sometimes you might need a little more sometimes you might need a little less so if you need a little more I recommend just doing that step over again and playing with things but if for some reason what you have done here is too sharp you can go ahead and make sure that background copy is highlighted and then go to opacity and you can actually turn that opacity down to where it's not so so sharp I guess which is kind of neat so you can play with it and you can get the perfect sharpness for whatever photo that you're working on all right and then from there i will go layer one more time and flatten the image and to me that photo is done okay so now i'm going to show you especially if you're not a photoshop user very frequently i'm going to show you how to turn what we just did into its own action so like i have it set up on there so when all of my layers are open when i'm done with the photo i click flatten and sharpen and it does it for me and it's done so I don't have to mess with really any of those steps unless I want to go back and mess with them but I don't have to I just one button one click and my photo is complete so we're gonna do the same thing that we did but you're going to come over to you're gonna hit this little it looks like a, under in your actions tab it looks like this little file folder thingy and you can create a new set and then you can put it in a set or you can just do this and you hit the little plus sign and create a new action so I'll do that and it's going to have a little pop-up and you can name it let's go YT sharpen just for I already have one so I'll delete this later but I know what this one is and then you hit record and the moment that you hit record everything you're doing is recording into this action okay so i opened up some i just opened up some layers really quick because you want to do all these steps you want to start by flattening and then you want to go into all the other steps so i had to just i didn't do anything with those layers i just made some layers so we have something to flatten so the first step is to layer flatten the image and then we are going to drag this down and create a background layer. And as you see, it's recording exactly what you're doing on each one of these. So now that we've duplicated the layer, we're going to filter, other, high pass. It's set at five automatically, so I'm just gonna leave that and hit okay. And it see, it's recorded that too, so now it recorded the high pass layer. You're going to change your opacity to overlay. And it said set current layer so we set the current layer to overlay and then we are going to go layer flatten the image and then we're going to hit stop and now that has created this sharpening now so any other photo that we pull into Photoshop now I can finish editing it and then it's one click to flatten and sharpen and then all I have to do is save it it's pretty great okay so that's it it really like that's that's all you have to do <laughs> it's super simple and like I said if you go ahead and you like the way that it sharpens create yourself an action and it's that simple if you hate everything Photoshop related and you like the way Lightroom edits then keep doing it that way don't let anybody tell you you do anything the wrong way. This is how I do it because this is how I like my photos to look at the end. Go ahead and give it a try and see if maybe you like the way this looks better too. It doesn't matter, it's just a different option. There's always going to be 10 different ways to get the same result. This is the way I like to do it. If you have any other questions about this or comments, concerns, whatever, just leave them in the comments. That's all I have for today and I will see you next time, bye.